Hi, welcome to Learn English with Dr. Kate. I'm here to help you learn fun things about English. But before we start, I want to remind you that you can pause or repeat this video if ever there are words, phrases, or explanations that you were not able to catch. You may also send me a message in Teams or approach me during our consultation period. Also, make sure that your notebooks are with you for writing down notes or if ever there will be activities that we will do in this session. Happy learning! For this session, we will have the creative nonfiction elements as techniques to develop teams. But before that, let's check your schema or your background knowledge. In your notebook, make a concept map and write the words that can be associated with writing a draft. Then, using the associated words, create your own definition of drafting in writing. Also, you may pause this video for 5 minutes or use this concept map for your reference. In your notebook, label this activity as Draft Concept Map. Every piece of writing goes through a process or stages. These steps do not always follow one another in succession. Instead, they are recursive. This means a step can occur again at any point of the process. In this lesson, you are expected to write a draft of a short piece using the studied literary conventions. As for our learning objectives, let's have A. Write a draft of a short piece using of any literary conventions of genre. B. Peer edit each other's draft. C. Revise and draft a short piece using any of the literary conventions of a genre. Right. So despite of the many different writing methods, there are basic steps in writing process that remain constant. Here are the following. First, generating ideas or finding a topic. Second, stating the main idea or the thesis statement or simply saying finding your topic. Third one is organizing your ideas. Fourth is drafting or writing the draft. And lastly, number five, proofreading or editing or revision. Let's have first the pre-writing or planning stage. So in this stage, where the writer thinks of the possible concepts or ideas, conceptualizing helps to determine the flow of the write-up. You have to remember that writers make several uh, decisions in the pre-writing stage. They will answer the questions like, what is the topic? Who is the target response? Uh, the target audience or the target readers? What is the method of delivering the context? What are the genre that to be used? Or what uh, what point of view should the author use to tell the content of some factual, factual information? So in short, you really have to think of these questions before you start your writing of the draft. There are things to consider when writing a draft. The first one is to identify your topic. Remember, nonfiction deals with factual information, so you should be based on reality. Topics here should be interesting with, that, with your target audience. Secondly, outline your story or your output. You do not need to write the entire paragraphs. Just write on your outline the topics or concerns for each paragraph. The topic or concerns for each paragraph is a great consideration. Also, you have to consider from the introduction part to the body, uh, consider from the introduction part, body to the concluding part of your piece. Third one is to use the learned styles, elements, and techniques. In here, you just have to write everything, as in everything that comes out to your mind. Since you have the outline, this will guide you to adhere the aim of your writings. The elements or the use of the elements in your writing and techniques provides a vivid impact to the readers once you are done writing it. Port, part dialogues, import dialogues, and other conventions if necessary. Using the dialogues, depending on the genre or type of nonfiction that you choose that was to use, makes the piece more interesting and appealing to the readers. The diction plays also important thing in your writing. Fifth, think of possible titles for your piece. You should make at least three possible titles for your piece. 
Consider the content and see to it that the title is interesting and catchy. The tar to the target audience. Read your draft aloud. This will help you to review and comprehend the things and information that you have written. You may also let other people uh, read your draft so that they can suggest for them so that if there will be possible adjustments or improvement, you can still do it. Have the proofreading or revising. Proofreading, revising, and finalizing the draft stage. In proofreading, you should identify the errors while editing. Secondly, in proofreading, first, you should identify errors while you are still editing. Second, check the spelling, the punctuation, the sentences, the form, and all the mechanics involved. Third, is to revise your draft as clearly as possible. Also, check the mechanics such as spelling, punctuation, formatting, and even accuracy. And when we are writing your conclusion, you should first refer back to the main idea and create the unity and the coherence. Second, focus readers' attention on the significance of what has been written. And third, bring a piece of writing to a definite and satisfying period. As for your written work, I want you to write a three-paragraph essay about an experience that affected my value or your value. Begin by considering the elements discussed in the writing situation, such as the purpose, the target audience, subject, point of view, themes, etc. Here are the guidelines in writing. You may pause this video and read and ponder on this. This is the guideline for peer review. As for our rubric, this is how I will grade your work. So I want you to carefully examine the rubric so that you will get a high score. So this has been Dr. Cates and see you next session of Learning English with Dr. Cates. See you. Bye-bye.